Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of EV Unite. So in this video we're going to be installing and mounting the Grizzly EV Charger. Now this is part of a video series so in the previous video I did an unboxing where I showed you everything that comes with the product. In this video I'm going to show you how to mount and install it and then in the final video I'm going to do a review and go over some of the things that I like and don't like about the product. And then I'll also do a, a demonstration where I charge a Tesla Model Y using this charger. So if you're into electric vehicles and electric vehicle content, then please consider subscribing to the channel to be notified of future videos. And at the end of the video, if you find any value in it, please consider giving it a thumbs up to like the video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna be mounting this charger in the garage and we're gonna have it in between the two garage bays that you could see here. So I have a panel that's mounted in between. Um, the bracket tree is gonna get mounted to that panel. Then there's a bracket that goes on the back of the charger and then that's gonna allow you to mount the actual charger onto the wall. So you can see here, this is the panel. Um, this is just a piece of plywood with some side pieces to support it um, and it was painted white here and then you can see below it we've got our plug so this is compatible with NEMA 14-50 and again you want to make sure that you can see the cable length here is only a foot and a quarter so you want to make sure that wherever you're going to mount the charger it's in really close proximity to where you're going to have the plug another thing that's important to make sure is that the plug direction so you want to make sure that the plug is facing upwards because when you go to mount the charger, the cable is going to come in and you can plug it in just like this. So as for the overall dimensions of this unit, so the charger box itself in the length, it's 10 and a quarter inches on the width, it's six and a quarter inches. And then on the thickness, it's just three and a half inches approximately. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're trying to determine uh, where you're going to be mounting this charger. It's also important to note that in addition to mounting the main unit, you're also going to have the mount for the handle storage itself. So this is going to take four screws to mount it in the wall. And you just want to make sure that you have a location predetermined where you're going to mount this that's convenient to you so that you can easily insert the handle and remove it. So of course, in order to run power to your charger, you're going to have to route wires from your electrical panel to the NEMA 14-50 outlet. Um, if you're someone who's done a lot of electrical work in the past, this might be something that you could do yourself. Um, but for most people, I would recommend hiring an electrician for this step just to be safe and to make sure it's done properly. All right, so overall the installation process is pretty simple. You really just have these two brackets and some hardware. So this one here, this is gonna mount to your wall and then this one's gonna to mount to the charger using four screws. So you can see on this one, there are two tabs on either side of this bracket. And then on this one, there are two corresponding slots. So once this is mounted on the wall, this one's gonna come in place just like that and then slide downwards and lock into place. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is mount this bracket onto the wall. And you can see here, there's two hole locations, one on the top and then there's one towards the bottom here. Um, there are two heavy duty screws that come with the unit. And so the first thing we wanna just um, mark a level line on the wall, and then we'll come back and we'll mount this in place. So these are the screws that come with the unit. It's, they're pretty heavy duty. Um, so. We're gonna start by making a, a pilot hole using a 3 16th drill bit. It's also worth noting that these are labeled where the top is just so that you don't accidentally mount it the wrong way. All right, so now we're actually gonna go ahead and mount it to the wall. You can see here that they, these screws actually use a square drill bit. So you're just gonna need to make sure you're using that to actually fasten it to the wall. All 
So once it's tightened down, you just want to make sure that it's nice and secure to the wall and that it's not wiggling at all. For this step, we're going to mount this bracket onto the back of the charging unit. And the product does come with these four screws to do that. And you're going to need a hex wrench. This is 3 16 So make sure to snug these down nice and tight at the end here. All right, so now we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, this next step is pretty satisfying. We're actually gonna take the unit, push it into place and then slide it downwards. And then we're gonna use this cotter pin um, that comes with the unit, slide it into position, and then lock it in place. That's gonna prevent this from wanting to slide or pull off of the wall. Now we're gonna mount the handle holder using the four screws that come with the kit and we're gonna mount it right above the charger. You'll probably also need just a regular screwdriver to get the two at the top. But before we go and actually plug this in, you're definitely going to want to make sure that the breaker is turned off for the plug just to make sure that you're safe throughout the process. So now that the charger is mounted on the wall, you can go ahead and flip the breaker back on and you're basically ready to charge. So the whole installation process is really simple. As you can see, um, the process takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes or so, and then you're ready to charge. So as I mentioned, this is part of a video series. In the next video, I'm actually going to do a demonstration where I charge a Tesla Model Y using this charger. And then I'm going to give you a review where I talk about some of the things I like and don't like about the product. So definitely check that video out. If you enjoyed this video and found any value in it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then I'd recommend doing that as well for more electric vehicle content. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.